and viewers, first let's see what we've caught in the headlines. PWD has completed 20% of road improvement works being taken up at various places in Imphal, says Chief Engineer K.H. Timber. One can never become a successful entrepreneur by seeking loans from banks just for subsidies and grants, asserts MLA Y. Surchandra. And contribution of Lions Club in humanitarian service to society praiseworthy, says District Governor of Lions Club. Proceeding with the news in detail. Chief Engineer of Public Works Department, PWD, K.H. Timber, has informed that the PWD has completed 20% of the road improvement works being taken up at various places in Imphal. He told this during an exclusive interview with the ISTV News today. He said, PWD has also begun working on IVR and improvement of state highways. The roadworks began after the government approved improvement of 346 roads at various places in the state that were damaged by last year's floods. It is not possible to improve the roads permanently. The department needs people's cooperation to ensure that the roads last long. The department has begun road improvement works in other districts too with the help of the state and the national funds. Sidna Huna by the Nikon of Honezaki, Adamai Totana, a quay Pikat Sarakpana, Hosig, a quay Tabuksha Hunga, Nimpuga Tarukumba, a quay Gomena, a proven Pidana, Hosig Masi, Hosig Huna Dana, Tabak, a quay twenty around twenty per cent of the Tabak de Quay Hosig Pilda Hore, Department Kilevenda Sukoi, Yari Gay, Quenangamba, Levenda de. Quite quality control set Tauraga, Masigi, Quay Sagis, a quen Sina Riba Pesha, say, Mamong Sumna, Tabakto on Topa, Hiba, Quay Panda Masu, Quay Mam, Punas and Minaraga, Tamnabu Honazari, Quay Departmenta, Tauboda, Quality Yaudaba, Quotaba, and Sagi, Kitang Monta, the Bakra Yaubu Kotbudu, Su Adam, I quit the Pau Bibiro, Mayam Jensen Bidana Club. Na Kangde Makangde Tauduna, a quay so sing lak for the A sing lak for the Su, Emma City Swina, Carino Togodo, Space Ocean the Yauri, Portuna Carino, a quay complain, a matto drink at the Su, and Sagi Portu Kangmin the Rega, a quay a papa, Rizalama Pangava, quay Hona Sedan, Singi Su, Sura Sampur Giwero, Krul Giwero, Taming Long Giwero, a quay Sandel Giwero, a quay packet from Topa, a cano do the equina. Pangi Babazet Sina, the way of a Tabak City, Quay, Hosik, Nasagi, Quay State Key Plan, the Natana, Mapandagi, Lower Punding, Sigi Makad, so Quay, Piket. Emily Vaisu Chandra has said that those who seek financial help from banks only to get subsidies and grants can never become a successful entrepreneur. He was attending the inaugural function of an office of the Social Agility for Value Economy, SAVE, at Kakwa Assemblaikai today. Speaker Y. Kem Chan, Managing Director of SAVE M. Robindro, OC of Singjame Police Station and Ingocha, and Secretary of the All Manipur Students' Guardians Association, Sumati Saugrakpan, graced the inaugural function as main guest. Addressing the gathering at the inaugural function, Emily Y. Surchandra further said, being able to earn value-added income is the true quality of an entrepreneur. It is very important for the people to try their hands on small-scale industries instead of just running after white-collar jobs. A society can never develop without work culture, the Emily asserted. <laughs> Massive 
District Governor of Lions Club Radha Agarwal, MJF, has said that the contribution of the Lions Club in humanitarian services in Manipur is praiseworthy. She said this while attending her felicitation function organized by the Lions Club of Imphal Central at Manipur Press Club yesterday. As part of the felicitation function, prizes were distributed to the winners of various competitions organized by the Lions Club. Lion M. Gozendro, Lion H. Manikumar, Lion Joy Oinam, President L. Palendro and other members of the club attended the felicitation function. Five new members of the club were also appointed as part of the function. Prizes were distributed to the winners of the drawing competition held on the theme The Future of Peace on October 27 last year. The competition was held for students between the age group of 11 and 30. Addressing the gathering, District Lion Radha Agarwal further said, the humanitarian services done by the Lions Club of Imphal Central in the last two years are commendable. She appeals to all the members of the club to continue extending all possible help to the poor and helpless section of the society. These two years, old club is doing a lot of service projects for the needy and downtrodden people of Manipur. And I congratulate each and every member of this club for doing their best. Please report regularly about the service and administrative activities in my LCI and as well as our district website. The 110th death anniversary of Major Chong Thamia was observed at his memorial complex at Nagamapal Singh Chubung Lairak today. The observance was organized by the Major Chong Thamia Memorial Committee. As part of the observance, floral tributes were paid to the statue of the brave soul. Pena, the Meite folk instrument, was also played in remembrance of the sacrifices made by the great soldier. Major Chong Thamia was born at Kwai Lalambung in 1849. He commanded the Manipuri soldiers in the Kong Chong War against the mighty Britishers in 1891. He left for heavenly abode on January 17, 1908. Speaking in connection with the observance, Secretary of the Committee Chong Tham Ibungobi said, The Major Chong Thamia Memorial Trust, based in Tripura, is also observing the death anniversary of the great soldier today. The sweepers of the Infal Municipal Corporation IMC today staged a certain demonstration in protest against a bomb attack on M sector that left one of the IMC sweepers on duty injured. Many IMC workers took part in the certain demonstration held near the IMC office complex. Speaking at the protest demonstration, sweeper S. Nungsitombi termed the incident very unfortunate. She said the bomb attack must have been planned by some irresponsible and mindless people. She appealed to the responsible persons not to repeat such acts in future. I am sitting here, 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 I am sitting in the meantime, certain protest was also held at community hall of Langtabal Mantri Kong Awang Lekai against the bomb blast. A protester who took part in the sit-in protest said, It is unfortunate that a daily wage honor was injured in the blast. She appealed to all concerned not to repeat a such act of violence in the future. 
Miam Daki, a Kangan Ba, no Mugisara, Tanzeriba, Missam Praza, a Swapanam and Basse, a Sukimati, a Quipinzedi, a Dugi, the Mutakuin, and a Sigidana, Pamzabani. The Workers' Union Manipur has strongly condemned the act of exploding a bomb near Johnstone High Secondary School that left IMC sweeper Sobita injured around 6 p.m. of January 15. The union further shared the grief of Sobita and her family. It is worth mentioning that Sobita is undergoing treatment at Raj Medicity at present. It is very unfortunate that the mindless act of some people has injured a Sobita who has been sweeping at various places in Imphal to keep the city clean, the union assorted. The union also appealed to those responsible not to repeat such acts in future. Many have complained of difficulties due to informal municipal employees' union's cease work strike that began from January 11 last. Some people have complained that they are facing grave difficulties while trying to have important documents signed by the officials. On the other hand, the union staged protest demonstration in front of the IMC gate today. Advisor of the union, Purit Sabam Chauba, said, the sit-in demonstration was staged in protest against the failure of the IMC authority to implement the Sixth Pay Commission. He said the union on December 27 last year had given an ultimatum to the IMC authority to implement the Sixth Pay Commission and roll out the pending salary for five months within 15 days. Even as the people are facing difficulties due to the cease work strike, the union will continue its protest until the authority concerned fulfills its demands. 27 December, I know that 17 da noti shampi shamba. Sina ekhoi numitana mangani matampi. Shiu manunda yanegu poto implement to vidragadi ekhoi strike in baton taura ani hai dena. Pisha adiga dead eleven dagi ekhoi cease work strike shia mohau. Eleven <laughs> The People's Action Committee formed against the suspicious death incident of Pravesh Chanam has said that it is very unfortunate that the case of Pravesh Chanam's death is still uncertain. This was informed in a press release issued by the committee. The committee further said incidents of noticed people staying outside the region, getting taunted and even killed by mainland Indians are still adamant today. Various cases of death incidents of youths from Manipur have remained suppressed until today. Facts of the death incident of Richard Loitongbam in 2012, death incident of Nido Tanya in 2014, missing of Taurim Bitu in 2017, death incident of Tabitha of Tamanglong in 2018, etc. are still not known. The committee has appealed to the people to WhatsApp or email their suggestions regarding such cases. The WhatsApp numbers to be contacted are 763-007-3448, and 762-805-4081. And the email address is pac.pravish at the red gmail.com. Police foiled an attempt by scheme workers to organize a protest near GM Hall in Val today. Earlier, Coordinating Body of Trade Union Manipur organized a meeting at Gandhi Memorial Hall against the lack of government's interest in the welfare of scheme workers. Speaking at the meeting, Chairman of the Union El Swatin Kumar said, scheme workers should be recognized as laborer and at least a monthly remuneration of 18,000 rupees and pension of 3,000 rupees must be paid to them. He also urged the authority concerned to turn the recommendation of providing social security to workers into action at the earliest. <laughs> 
After the meeting, members of Anganwadi Workers and Helpers Union, All Manipur Asha Workers Union and Midday Workers Union attempted to take out a protest procession from GM Hall to Chief Minister's bungalow. However, police prohibited the members from proceeding further and allowed five representatives to meet Chief Minister and put forward their grievances. Nupilal Memorial Association Manipur has warned of agitation against the failure to name the road stretched from Nitai Bajrathek and Sanjentong as Nupilal Road, which has been approved by the state cabinet. Addressing a press meet at its office at Thera, Publicity Secretary of the Association Peter Longcham said, prizes for the song competition and AC competition held as part of a month-long celebration of 78th Nupilal in last December will be distributed on January 20 at Nupilal Complex. Member of Nupilal Memorial Association, Toijam Memcha, stated that the then Chief Minister W. Nipamacha gave a nod to re-question the road stretched from Nithyai Bajrathek to Sanjenthong as Nupilal Road. However, it has been swept under the rug and therefore intense agitation will be initiated against it. She also suggested that if we can emulate and propagate the spirit of Nubilal, any force that is against us will never be successful. Sanjian Tongdagi na koi ki kai sampat koi ki si ki masin kisang mati kisang si imagi tonggan si si koi Nubilal ki road hai na imasin ki maming lauraga thongada bani hai basi ayaba ama piraga koi order thoga lai kha bani sangraba matam se Manipur ki mapi mapa koi basi na. Today motivation camp organized at Kaibulamjau National Park in connection with the counting of migratory birds in Loktak Lake, scheduled on January 20, has been concluded. Range officers Kaibul Lamjau, Elbira Mangol and N. Sarat, coordinator of India Bird Conservation Manipur State, R.K. Birjit, and associate professor of Moirang College, M. Soni Maite, among others, attended the closing ceremony. One Lysram Urmila of Wangu Napching Makong has handed over a golden eagle to the Environment, Social Reformation and Sangai Protection Forum, which handed it over to the Wildlife Wing of Forest Department. The Wildlife Wing has entrusted it to the authority of Kaibul Lamjau National Park. A three-day Rhizome Festival organized by Rural Auxiliary for People Action Lumding in association with State Ayush Society, Directorate of Ayush, under the aegis of MITS Department of Horticulture and Soil Conservation began today at Ningtam Inkol, Tekcham Maningching. The festival is being organized with an aim to spread awareness of the medicinal value of different producers found in the state. Minister of Art and Culture, L. Jayanta Kumar, MLA of Wangching Tenta Assembly Constituency, Paunam Brojendro, Director of Ayush, Dr. A. Guneshwar, Additional Director, Dr. Y. Lukhoi, graced the inaugural ceremony of the festival. Speaking on the occasion, Minister L. Jayanta Kumar said, It is said to see that people of the state are buying and using various products made from raw materials exported from the state. It is now time to make aware of various plans of high nutritional and medicinal values found in the state and take up a large scale plantation of them. <laughs> Hong Lay, 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 H
mind na na bagi ni degi unsap kui jana bane wuding tungu bana bane adu tung de bane thaji lo bud akoi na maman ta na lai ra ga tong bud degi bud degi pro pitong ma tong ma yoji ya man nong ai na kamai tong bud mani bud lai ri bud jangal kudi mok si umong kudi mok si ching kudi mok si mai pami tong bud shapi gi hai ni poro ni poro mo ni sung tong aga thaji lo ga i ra kamai tong bud ma dudai ni pang pang dana lai ra ga kamai tong bud ma dudai hara wuri ba isi ma dudai mo ina nong ga tong bud tong ma yoji bud kan mo lai tani kai ba yoji bud Fort Intercollegiate Youth Festival organized by Central Agricultural University Imphal from January 15 has concluded today. Vice Chancellor of Cal Professor M Premjit, Director of Research Dr C A Srinivas Murthy, Dean of College of Agriculture Dr J N Lashram graced the closing function as main guest. Prizes were also distributed to the winners of various events held during the festival. Loser of today will be the winner of tomorrow. So next year, another college will come up. And that is why, please do not hurt them. But actually, I am feel very happy that the newly established college, College of Horticulture at Bartow in South City, within a short span of, I think, two years. International news, Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu arrived in Prime Minister Narendra Modi's home state, Gujarat, on Wednesday. Netanyahu was welcomed with a grand roadshow and then he proceeded towards Sabarmati Ashram. The two leaders will also attend an exhibition of startups near Ahmedabad later today. Netanyahu, on a six-day state visit to India, arrived in New Delhi on January 14 and was personally received by Prime Minister Modi. He said the Indian Prime Minister had revolutionized India-Israel relations. The two countries inked nine pacts in key areas, including in the sector of oil and gas sector and cyber security. On Tuesday, Netanyahu, along with his wife Sarah, visited the Taj Mahal in Agra. Later in the evening, the Israel leader delivered a lecture at the Third Arizona Dialogue wherein he underlined India and Israel's strong commitment towards counter-terrorism efforts. Netanyahu also said he is discussing with India ways to strengthen security cooperation against Islamist extremism that both democracies faced. A five-judge constitution bench of the Supreme Court has begun the final hearing in the Aadhaar case. The bench, headed by Chief Justice of India Deepak Mishra and consisting four other judges, Justices A.M. Kanwilkar, Adarsh Kumar Sikri, D.Y. Chandrachur and Ashok Bhushan, is hearing the petitions challenging the validity of Aadhaar, contending that it violates an individual's fundamental right to privacy, reports a news agency. In August last year, a nine-judge bench of the Apex Court had held that right to privacy was a fundamental right under the Constitution. Several petitioners challenging the validity of Aadhaar had also claimed it violated privacy rights. Now, before we wind up, a quick glance at headlines. PWD has completed 20% of road improvement works being taken up at various places in Imphal, says Chief Engineer K. H. Demba. One can never become a successful entrepreneur by seeking loans from banks just for subsidies and grants, asserts MLA Vaisur Chandra. And contribution of Lions Club in humanitarian service to society praiseworthy, says District Governor of Lions Club. For this, we end our today's news in English. Thank you very much for joining us. Good night.